Hi folks, Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry here in Central South Carolina. Um, I've always been on the lookout for stuff to make life a little bit easier, especially whenever I'm building the incubators. I've done a lot of build videos, how to wire them up and stuff like that. Well, I came across uh, a website, incubatorwarehouse.com. Kip and Randy started this up uh, not too terribly long ago. They started this site up and they've started building ready-made kits, incubator kits. They call them incu kits. I'll, uh, I'll post a, lo uh, a link down at the bottom of the page down there. Uh, the two that I've got today that he sent me, this is the 100 watt kit. Now this, this wire I put on here, this does not come with the kit. I put this wire on here so that I could wire in uh, an indicator LED to uh, let me know when the unit power is on. But basically this is it. You got a 100 watt heating element here, a 110 volt fan, it's a big thick piece of mylar right here that this uh, that the holders are riveted in and that Samex bimetal um, thermostat that I was telling you about I got it from these guys and they mount them in these 100 watt kits right here all the wiring that you're gonna have to do is uh, actually plugging it in the wall there's no wiring to do uh, whenever you get these units and the only tool you're gonna need on the 100 watt unit here see the two mounting holes right here the only kit are not on the the only tools you're going to need to mount this in your incubator is a drill the drill a hole or something to poke two holes to mount this thing in here what i did is i got some eight inch plexiglass and uh what i'm going to do here for uh, uh all practical purposes i usually use the 48 quart um coolers plastic coolers coleman igloo that i get from uh, walmart but these Omaha State coolers, this one is two inches thick. This is 48 quart, two inch thick um, styro, um, styrofoam cooler. And this is probably a 28 quart, uh, inch and a half thick styrofoam cooler. And uh, what I'm gonna do with this 100 watt, see, is I just use this eighth inch thick plexiglass and I just marked it, drilled a 7 16 inch hole and two 3 16 inch holes right here to line up with the, uh, with the um, mounting holes for this unit and then I'm just going to measure it out cut it out and mount it in the top of this box I'll go over that here in a little bit in the next segment whenever you get these kits from these guys they're going to come with hardware kit the 100 watt comes with the only tool you're going to need to fasten the knob on is a screwdriver and they included it in the kit and you've got these two nylon fasteners right here that push through the holes into your mounting uh, through this mylar right here to, to mount it to the top of your incubator. Now you may have to trim these off. Uh, these things may be too long. You don't want them getting through uh, or into the fan down here so you may have to trim an inch or so um, or less off of these little fasteners to get them to fasten but when I put it together we'll, we'll find out for sure. The next one that they sent me is a 12 volt unit. This is their digital unit. has an external temperature probe. This one is completely digital and it comes preset to 99.5 you can adjust all your adjustments right here and uh, this one comes with a 12 volt AC adapter because it is low voltage to uh, 12 volt DC so this one also comes with a hardware kit that basically comprises of here's your two space I've already got these installed these come in the bag along with uh, um, with instructions uh, the little spacers I've already popped those in here to uh, just for uh, to save a little bit of time and then you've got two mounting screws and two nylon washers that come with it the way I'm going to mount this one into this smaller uh, cooler right here is I took the same piece of uh, eighth inch thick um, plexiglass and I just laid it over the top of this where I wanted to mount it like this and I drew out four points I made me four dots right on the top of this plexiglass right here where I wanted to go around these uh, the display and the controls and then I just drew a line between them and took my Dremel and cut this out once I had this cut out I just laid it over where your mounting holes go right here and made two more uh, marks for the mountain holes and drilled a 3 16 inch hole these are 3 16 inch um, machine bolts all right, now what you might want to do is use a 730 seconds and instead of a 3 16 because I had to wallow the holes out a little bit to give me a little wiggle room here because if you only make them 3 16 you're not going to have any room. This thing's not going to move. It's going to be tight. And if you are off just a little bit drilling these holes, it's not going to mount in there uh, like it should. So uh, 
whenever I'm putting this thing together, I had also noticed on this 12 volt unit that there's going to be air, there was going to be air coming because it pushes up around this. Here's your ceramic heaters. It's got four ceramic heaters into the circuit board that they've already got mounted in here all the way around. Now see, it is vented. There are holes that go all the way through here. So whenever I mounted, I noticed that whenever I mounted my glass on here, that there was going to be an air gap where air was going to just be pushing up out of the top. I don't like anything in my incubators that I can't control. And so what I did is I just took some little old universal weather strip, uh, the kind that goes around your, your doors and all that. I had some extra out there. So I trimmed it and just cut me some little small strips. That one goes on the side, like this. Those idiot dogs down there. <laughs> Making racket. But basically, the weight of the glass, whenever I fasten this, is going to hold it in place. So whenever now, whenever I pull this down, this is going to seal around with this foam, and it's not going to allow any air to come out of here. But these, uh, these little Teflon washers, are going to go right here guys. That is what, that's the same width as the top of these bolts here so it don't have your bolts pushing up into your glass. And then it's just a matter of laying it on here. And lining up, lining up your bolts. Then all I've got to do, Phillips head screwdriver. But see, basically that's all it is. I'm gonna have to move my little weather strip around and get them where I need them, and I'll tighten this down, folks. And then whenever it comes time, whenever I'm gonna uh, actually install them, I'm gonna have to cut some holes in the tops of these. Uh, these coolers here, I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. All right, see you in a minute. All right, folks, I got this one cut and already set in there. It's got to be glued in, but I'm fixing to uh, fixing to cut this one here. And the way I did that, see, I just took the uh, took the glass, laid it up here, and then I uh, took a sharpie and outlined it. And you're going to want to remember, whenever you cut, you want to cut about a half inch inside that that mark. Uh, to uh, make sure you've got something to glue your glass to. I'll, uh, I'm going to get this hole cut out and then I'm going to come right back to you and show you what I'm talking about. Just like this guys. It's in about half an inch or so all the way around. You leave that shelf right there so that whenever you uh, set your glass on there you'll have something, a place to run the bead for your sealant for your glass to sit on it. Just like that. I'm gonna get this other unit mounted in here and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay guys, I got my glass set up. Got everything lined up here. Got my little push fasteners are lined up to the holes here. Just like that. And just like that. And it's in there. It's mounted, that's it. Then it just has to be taken, set up here. I'm going to get everything set up. I'm going to get this set in the hole, get both of these set up to where they can be glued. And then I'll get back to you here in just a second, guys, and we'll do a running test. Okay, here we go, guys. We're assembled. I haven't put any vent holes or in either one of these little incubators yet, but I've got everything powered up. See, that's what I like. I, that's why you can see where I wired in my little LED right there. If I can get my big head out of the shot, I hate the way the lighting is in this kitchen. Uh, you can see where I tied in my, my little LED indicator to let me know when that unit is, is on right there. The temp is climbing fast, guys. I've dropped that temp probe down in there. The, the cool thing about the little 12 volt right here is it displays, it displays the temperature. These things have been running less than five minutes, and this, this box is almost already. The temperature probe is down about halfway down in the box. And it's already at 93.94 degrees and coming up. See, the heater starts uh, cooling off. They designed, these, these guys designed this thing for the heater to start tapering off, the power to start tapering off to the heater, 
as your temp gets up close to where it needs to be and so that you don't have a big variance in your temp. I'm going to let these boxes, both of these boxes heat up real good. I'm not going to have to make any adjustments on this one because it comes preset 99.5. And as a matter of fact, we're almost there now. I'm going to find out as I find out. I'm going to see whenever it gets up there what happens. The heater is at 10%. 9% is cycling off. The residual temp, which that's going to happen whenever you first put something in the box. The heater is at 8%, so it's almost off now. Uh, the heat is uh, cooling down, but we're going to let these boxes stabilize. And, uh, and then we'll get back here in just a little while. This one's going to take a little bit longer. It's a bigger box. It's at about 90 degrees now. Power still on. And uh, so we'll let it come on up and get it, let it stabilize. And I'll get back to you in just a little bit, guys, when these things stabilize and we'll see what's going on. Okay, guys, these things have been running for several hours now. This is where I have got uh, the 100 watt. It's right around 99.5. That's where she's staying, hovering right around between 99 and 99.5. That's 48 quart. Thing about it, it's hardly coming on at all. It's uh, once this box gets up to about where it needs to be and it's see how thick that that styrofoam two inches of styrofoam and that eighth inch thick i didn't have to double the glass uh and it's uh it's holding right there guys that's perfect happy with that i got some vent holes look at that shadow right over it got some vent holes drilled in them right here and around the perimeter of the bottom i got some vent holes hopefully you can see them there got them drilled got them drilled in over here on this small box too we got some vent holes, and uh, I'm loving this little digi digital setup, guys. It's holding it. It's at 100.6 right now. 10% heater is running. It's been bouncing between about 99.5 to 105. And see the temp probe. It's it's down there, right about where the eggs would be. That's why I've just got it hanging. This is just for this was just for testing purposes. But this is the fastest I have ever put together any incubators. And uh, this little unit right here is uh, is right at 50 bucks. It's 49 dollars and some change for this uh, for this setup. And I believe the 100 watt is uh, is 55 dollars. But I'm gonna have links um, on the video here and on my web page that go directly to Incubator Warehouse. These guys have got some bigger units. They've got some. Uh, They've got some 250 watt that are designed for your cabinet, uh, like your sportsman size, like my little refrigerator that I've built up, and uh, just really, really good idea. Uh, no wiring to do, just uh, just cut and install, and and it's it's working beautiful, guys. All right. Okay, guys, that ought to just about wrap it up. Give uh, Kip and Randy a call or, or contact them through their webpage here at incubatorwarehouse.com. You can find the information on my web uh, on my website, rushlanepoultry.com, guys. Wade Rush, talk to you soon.